modified radical mastoidectomy is a surgical procedure done for an unsafe ear. It is a procedure wherein the disease is cleared and the diseased cell is accentuated in order to create a perfectly exteriorized cavity that can periodically be inspected and cleaned. How do we achieve this? A little anatomical description is in order. If this were the external canal, if this is the posterior bony meatal wall, the posterior external meatal wall deeper in houses the descending facial nerve. The middle ear has an attic, a mesotympanum and a lower part which is a hypotympanum. The attic area is covered by a plate of bone and this is called the scutum at the lower end of which is a notch and this is called the notch of Rivenus, which is bounded in front and behind by the anterior and posterior buttresses of the notch of Rivenus. The lower edge of the scutum which at the lower edge of which is the notch is called the bridge which bridges the notch. In modified radical mastoidectomy, in order to create an exteriorized cavity, two essential things are to be done. The deep posterior meatal wall has got to be sufficiently lowered in order to gain a good access to the mastoid sum. Therefore, we call that lowering the ridge which overlies the facial nerve. The bridge that bridges the notch has to be removed in order to gain access and expose the attic. So, the two things done are removal of the bridge and lowering the ridge to create an exteriorized cavity which can periodically be inspected and cleaned for the rest of the patient's lives. So you need to remember two key points. The difference between cortical and modified radical mastoidectomy is in modified the ridge is lowered and the bridge is removed to create a perfectly exteriorized cavity which can periodically be cleaned. This indeed is a problem and today what we do is to obliterate the cavity by cavity obliteration techniques. Here since we lower the posterior deep meatal wall this is therefore termed the canal wall down surgery.